If we were speaking Spanish, would fellas be feminine of fellows? Because I want to say, hey, fellas and fellows, and I represent more than just guys, but it's all good. Hey, welcome back, Rat Punchers. We are playing some more of this, and we're already in trouble. Let's quickly run away. <laughs> actually, actually, hey, let's not forget our talent. Where is it? Improvise projectiles. Let's just blind it and shout out our trademark shout. If you don't know it by now, one, two, three, here's meat in your eye. There we go. Now it's blinded. I think we just tank the skeleton and, and just fight this guy. Um, let's see. Havax95 said, try putting all your upgrades on plate armor with the gladiator. You can do thousands of damage with this second combo ability. I have never done that. And I may try and go ahead and do that this run. We have um only used we've used two upgrade scrolls, so but one of them's on the seal, so we can transfer that. So we could get like uh, I don't know plus 15 or 16 plate armor. Usually I've gone like all plate armor and done Berserker and just sit there and tanked. Uh, what I'm doing here is I try to pull a skeleton away from the Necromancer so it won't heal it. And then we can go fight the Necromancer. And I was thinking of trying the no food run, but I think I'm not going to do that because that's kind of a lot to wrap my head around when I already started the run. I think if we step back, there's a trick where it'll stop his channel or the Necromancer will come first. Okay, it's running away. Oh, it did com complete its channel though. At least we can see that grass there. We can see it's moving away from us. Scroll the rage. I wonder if I throw an aggression stone if the skeleton will sit there and fight it. It's almost like kind of fun to test out. I've got two of them. I'm just like watch it get beat down by its own minion. Uh, this is just annoying. I think what we do is um, let's just go kill it. It's a bit reckless, but we'll just take all these hits. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to wake this guy up, but we just may end up doing so. And this is when we're glad we're on, you know, only one challenge and have plus three male armor. We can just do silly stuff like that. And since we're not on diet, I'll go ahead and trample the grass. Ooh, uh -huh. that would have triggered all this grass to burn. That would have been uh, devastatingly awesome, depending on which side of the fire you're on. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Male armor also completely crushes prison guards. Oh, ring of elements. Nice. That's a good one to have. You got a plus one. Awesome. Fantastic. Moving along. Moving on. Check this little corner. Make sure we are not missing anything. Okay. So nice not having to always use torches and stuff too. So not this episode, but the next one will probably be fighting Tengu and I'll go over how to get perfect score on that. Um, I kind of just want to trigger this. So let's just go ahead and like throw this. You can throw something from your inventory too, but it's just quicker for me just to hit that hotkey. Stand here. Oh, it's faster and wait till it goes away. Go on. There we go. Skeleton. Hey, strength potion. Awesome. That'd be sad if the skeleton explosion destroyed the strength potion. So this is the only potion we can drink because we're doing a no potion challenge. That's no healing potions, no nothing. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Hmm. I think I'll just step in. Is there any... Ooh, we could burn it. Will it spread through the door? If it does, I'll just step in the water. We'll be okay. Then it'll maybe it'll pull me back and get me stuck, but it's fine. So we learned last time that if I aim right at this... Actually, no, I think where this guy is, I think we'll be safe. I think we can throw it here. Yeah, it does light me on fire. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take you out first. Since you're there burning, I think this does more damage anyways. Using the traps to, uh, to vanquish our enemies is just, it's just fun. Ooh, Synergy alert. Let's put this somewhere a little quicker or I'm going to use it more often. I think one, where's my fingers like to go? Yeah, one looks good. One, I kind of like two, but whatever. Synergy alert. And when I say synergy, I mean petrified seed plus wand of regrowth. Awesome. I don't want to shoot it in this room in case it's cursed and causes some crazy nonsense. Um, let's just step back here. Throw some rocks. Let's just trigger some stuff here. Get it over with. Search there. Nothing. Awesome. There can be um traps underneath the gold. Okay, good. There was not. What are you? Crimson. Do I know what these are? I feel like I do, but 
Oh, okay. So there's a haste potion. Okay. I did um make a note here for floor three that there's an uncleared uncleared fish room. But we found the strength and the upgrade potions in the sewer, so I'm not too worried about it. It could be like blade armor or something though. So how do we tackle this room without just getting hit a bunch of times from the haste? Well, can we heroically leap over these later? Maybe. Can we teleport? Disarming enchantment shop. Stone of flock. Will the will they block it? The sheep? Will they block the laser? I don't know. Let me think about this. Okay, we found our answer. This may help us a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and plant this here. Click on it. Don't get the time bubble. It gets us an assassin blade. So it's gonna save us a little bit of health. It's half of the health. We get ooh. So we get zapped twice instead of four or five times if we had um not used it at all. So I don't know. It's like a miniature workaround. Alright, let's give this a shot. Hey hey, it's not cursed. Awesome. And we're getting stones of disarming already. Oh, it's fantastic. And we're leveling up. Ooh. What do we want? What do we want? This one? No. I'll probably go with this. 100% to get a free turn is pretty nice. And then... I don't think we're really transferring any glyphs. Right? Swiftness. I mean, it's not like a super rare glyph. If it was like Ember... Or, um... Like the Elemental Resistance one, maybe? Thief. I kind of want to get these identified so I can just like start chucking them just knowing what they are and using them so one thing about wanting to regrowth now though is uh when this it tries to run from us aha we can kill it before it does what do we have here accuracy okay that's not bad at a plus zero sure oh inventory trouble healing potion nice so inventory problems means we gotta start getting rid of some junk I think I want to keep this because there's a, a badge for it, right? Finishing the game with it or beating the boss with it. Um, <laughs> well, hell. What I actually like to do is get to the next floor and just throw everything off a ledge. And then I can pick it up down there. There's still a little bit left to explore. I feel like there might be a hidden door around here. So I'll try that first before I go all the way around. Yeah, there it is. Because it may just be this, and there's nothing else to the floor. Yeah, so I'm glad I did that rather than, like, do a super huge exploration. I think I'll just chuck one thing off the ledge here, and then I can pick it up later. Let's throw... You know, you you can go. That's just... What is that, really? A few gold? I should be spamming this wand out more and get it... Get it identified. And farming up the seeds. I'm just going to... Wow. I think this may be plus something. I don't think it's plus zero. This is fun. Yeah, so hopefully I get some plate armor and I'll and I'll try that. Um maxing it out and see how much damage we do with that combo. So I clear the grass first because I think when the seeds pop out, they can uh knock the grass down. And may override any trap chances at getting uh dew drops. One maker. Really, you're just chilling here, Elastic Sai? Did I throw that there? I don't think so. Okay, one maker, what you want? Rotberry, awesome. Okay, so this is the time where we can just throw everything down. And it'll just land in a nice, like, little pile. I'm gonna step here so you can't see me so it doesn't wake up. I don't really like Elastic on melee champs because it's gonna knock the range guys away and then they're gonna just sit there and shoot me. Even you, Arcane Style, so I can throw you down too. I'll pick you up. Except we're here again. <laughs> I mean, if it was your tier three, your tier three, yeah, I don't think we're losing much damage. I'll just throw you down as well. Are you upgrade? Are beautiful. I'm gonna come over this way and block the door in case you do try and run away from me. Stole food, but now guess what? We're gonna root you. <laughs> Wand of regrowth, it's so good. Awesome. Awesome. Moving on. Jeez. Locked doors everywhere.
Oh, we with Wanda regrowth, we could potentially just live off of dew drops. Hope you don't wake up and change me. Good. I don't even care. Do your worst, prison guard. I feel like I'm just going to um, next alchemy pot just make those all into energy and get them all identified, and then just start chucking them. So a lot of them are harmless when they explode, but some things like I'm pretty sure levitation. I'm pretty sure that makes the vertigo, right? That'd be really fun to get a nice vertigo cloud down and have some enemies um, accidentally run off a ledge. Also need to go back to the shopkeeper. I'm not sure. He usually sells bombs. I need to buy some bombs so I can make the healing bombs. So I can do my little tricksy workaround. Let's just get over here and fight you first before the skeleton comes at us too much. Yeah, so this is definitely a testament to investing a couple upgrade scrolls and mail armor in the sewers if you get a chance. It just makes you so strong. I think 100% damage resistance is fun to get, but it's we can also just hold on to this talent in case we want to. Two turns, two turns. Probably just go here, here. 100% damage resistance is really good if you get like the uh, the Horn of Everlasting Food or whatever it's called. Hornocopia. I reach you. Feel for me now. I should be um playing faster because we are kind of overpowered. Might as well just take advantage of it. Oh, that was clever. It teleported both of us too. <laughs> nice. Never crippled, unfortunately. I may be able to do something, something cute here. Just like, oh, well, I didn't want it to be there. I want to root it. And then you shall watch while I kill your master as you're rooted and helpless. Feel the pain. <laughs> nice. Wish I didn't take an extra turn to, to pick those up. Such a little hassle. Oh, that's a blink sound. That's very useful. Well, dang, I don't think there's going to be a hidden door here because never mind, there's a hidden door. Oh, chill. Yeah. Don't destroy the potions. Okay, so I guess we just turn them all into energy to find out what they are. I love this update, though, how it identifies them. Oh, okay. Turquoise. Purity. I think we knew that. Silver. Iron vision. Genta? Oh, can't use it anyways. That's fine. Levitation. Oh, that would have been fun to turn into the... Uh... Oh, there's our haste, right? We knew that. Toxic gas. Okay, great. Look at all this energy. That's too much. What are we going to do with it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what we're going to do. We're going to go honey healing because we're going to make a bee our ally. Awesome. And, ooh, interesting. One sec. Yeah, so I'm looking at potions that when you craft them, they go from something that you can throw. I think like levitation, storm clouds, and like invisibility into sharding fog is good because I don't think throwing that does anything, but now throwing it will do something. So it'll probably do stuff like that. And definitely make our bombs. I don't think there's anything else really for us. Oh, I wish I had a pasty. Hmm. Fine. And I don't really feel like Crafting potions out of the seeds or anything. So I think we are good to move on. Awesome. Oh, Master Researcher. Oh, I think that's because when the update added the journal, it kind of like cleared some of the stuff. All right, one more room and then we are on to the boss. And I think we may even have time to... Uh... Oh, right, right, right. So the trick for this is there's always a path to get by without getting hit. So here. So if you're not sure where to go, it's going to be a way to get past them. Okay, so in this instance, it's going to be diagonal through here. And then we can try up over this way. Mm, probably not. That looks like a dead end there. So try down this way. Oops, there it is. 
Cool, we'll just smack it. It takes some poison damage. Oh. 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 Tempt me no more. <laughs> Don't need to ask me twice. When's it fire? <laughs> Burn. Watch this spread. Maybe yeah, I'm losing dew drops and stuff, right? But but the rot to be purified. Oh no, did it didn't go diagonal? Oh man. Oh well, we got most of them. But I wanted to see how if I could kill a rot berry with it. Oh well. <laughs> Still fun. That's surprising that it doesn't go diagonal through um, these little necks around these pillars. Huh. The more you know. Oh, really? Hey, here's meat in your eye. Find it. Alrighty. Fire blast. Pretty good combo because you can root them and then you can light them on fire. So let's go for it. Sure. Well, I know you'll want me to try that um, max plate armor combo, but we could easily throw all these upgrades on like these wands as well. Let's go ahead and I don't know, slot it in two here. It's a plus two. And Tengu, Tengu, you got something. You're going to be in trouble. So here's a trick. If I was to shoot it now, I'm pretty sure I would light on fire because it's going to spread to the door. So let's say I like root it up there. No, I'm still going to light on fire. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll just step back to this water. I just have too much fun burning things. Did it even die? I don't think it did. Anyways, let's go ahead and block line of sight here. So we don't get sent. And take it out. Leveling up. But did we win? Perhaps this. I think I may hold on to that one for a moment. So going for the boss, I like to eat a little food so we can uh, heal up while we're running around. And I think we're ready to move on. So we have a little bit of inventory space we can pick up here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We may get to the range weapon holster. Don't really want that. I like the scroll holder first. I mean, it depends. It could be good first if you uh, like have a lot of range weapons because it, well, it, re it increases um, recharge on your wands, and I think it even has less durability use. So I'm gonna take a little nap here. Let's just heal up. Why not? Got the food. Okay, so for Tengu to get the perfect score, you just have to not get hit by any of the traps. Uh, I'm gonna double check just to make sure. Yep, so we just can't get hit by any of these traps and in the second phase as well. I think we just go for the uh, the burn and cripple, which is pretty nice. Do we even um, try and go through these? I don't think so. Let's just throw our range weapons for now. And I'm going to lose track of where they all are. That's okay. Because so I think we can get Tengu to teleport. Yeah, just from the damage before we have to move. Well, this is a long way to go anyways. I wouldn't even want to do that. I'll let these charges come up maybe because I actually it probably doesn't matter. I'll let the burn let you know do as much damage from the burn as we can. If we root now, will it redo the fire? Let's see if this fire is uh, two turns left. Let's pass a turn here. Aha, look at that. Fire re... The burning debuff started over again. That is awesome. Anything else? We have for range potions. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Okay, so you're still burning. I feel like I'm going for you now, though. So it's just straight one, two, three, and then diagonal. If you go quick, you can still see them. They just take a moment to fade out. Okay. Hmm, this is a long way around. We could. No, we can't pick up our stuff. It's on traps. This disarming seed work here. I feel like just for science, testing it out. I think we'll just do it for science, just because I don't know. I've never tried it. Before. 
Let's throw it. It says nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might do all these. Oh, it did. Awesome. <laughs> That's fun. Bingo. Zawardo. <laughs> okay, phase two. Let's pick up all of our range stuff. If you wanted to, you can take a small little nap. It doesn't let you do it for too long, though. This was actually nerfed, I don't know, a few months ago. Maybe even longer. Because you could, like, really just sleep a lot. No, the main thing you could do was just run around and have bosses chase you while you regained infinitely. I'm going to get a little closer. Just, oh, never mind. I'm not going to get a little closer. I'm just kind of sidestepping here. I want to get close enough to make sure I don't mess with this. It does have a... You know, it's a cone. It can be a little tricky. I think we'll just go ahead and throw our stuff at you here. Okay, have a hammer. That is some nice hammer tossing, I gotta say. I don't appreciate enough, like, how good these heroes are. Just chucking stuff. Axes, hammers, even, like, the mage can just whip an axe. I wish I, I should have rooted and maybe tried to refresh the, uh, the burning debuff again, but... Say la vie. Also, we are on batter bosses, so we're getting a lot more traps and stuff than we usually would. I feel like Blinkstone is fun. Do 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 do. Um, we're also kind of have to like get through all this. We could just kind of go like this. Think thankfully, our armor is strong enough that the shurikens do nothing. Because normally that's how Tengu beats you. Especially with Faith is my armor. As you're trying to get close, you just get whittled down by those shurikens until you eventually get killed. Will this hit? Oh, yeah, see, it was just short. That's a bummer. Um, So we're in this. We got the smoke coming. I feel like just blink stone. No, I need to save those. I need to save them. I'll just keep running. Since we've got the mail armor, I think we're okay. Or not. Maybe we can't get hit in this trap, so... Fortunately, the timing worked out that we were able to, uh... The trap went off. Because that smoke bomb, if I had waited one more... I'm gonna... Should I reach in there? No, it's still gonna just teleport away, so... Yeah. But now, if we can reach you, we can get this fire debuff. Ooh, can't get... Can we reach you here? Yes, now the fire is gonna stick on you. And if we even, like, hide, you can block my slight. If you need to avoid shuriken damage, you could do that. We should like lay down on fire again, do I? Uh... Oop. Oop. Another reason Wand of Regrowth is uh, overpowered is you can block line of sight on Tengu. So. Wow. It's like. Uh... There's traps everywhere and I try not to get hit. I feel like. I'm clear or not? I'm gonna just be play safe here. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Tengu, hurry up and die. Let's get this, uh, make sure this fire stays on. Oh, I think, I think they teleported away. He. Tengu actually has, uh, descriptors. Um. Well, this is taking way too long. Look at all these traps. Tengu, I just need to get close enough to light you on fire again. These things need to go away. I want to save my blink zone. I feel like I'm going to need it to get like across a chasm or something. Three. I think we're safe because of our uh, swiftness armor. Yeah, swiftness armor is actually doing work because we are far enough away. And when you have lower charges on the... Fire Blast, it doesn't go as far, so this, it probably would have been close enough, but let's just make sure I don't make that mistake again. Let's root you again. Let's make sure you, uh, this is over with. Okay, Badge Endorse, gotcha. I think we pulled it off, so perfect score there, just by taking a little extra time and dodging all the traps and stuff, which of course we could only do because our plus three male made us basically invincible to the Shurgans. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, Door to door, door to door, geek, Quasar TV, Colorado, Jungle, LG 158, Precise, Galaxy, and Gazolo, and you commented 12 last last uh, video. You are amazing. Appreciate you very much. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, for punchers, punch on. Cheers.